Hey, morning, y'all. What is going on? Well, so today I'm um, going to be replacing the four-wheel drive selector switch in my daughter's 2002 Ford F-150. So pretty simple. Uh, yeah, it's not that difficult. <clears throat> and they're pretty cheap. I'll post a link in the description down and below. And uh, yeah, you can get these through a lot of different companies. I got this one through carparts.com. You could also get them on Amazon. <clears throat> uh, I don't remember. So let's see. Take a look at it here. Here we go, guys. So there it is right there. That is the number transfer case switch. That's it right. Oops, there. I'm pointing the wrong right one. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, her four-wheel drive was not engaging. I know it's the switch because it wasn't engaging and sometimes it would stay engaged. But when you tried to switch it, sometimes you would have to like push on it or kind of wiggle it and then it would click and it would pop up on the dash um, right there that it was in four-wheel drive. And sometimes you would just kind of like, and then it would click over. Um, so it's definitely the switch. Pretty common problem with these. Um, I know a lot of buddies that have had a, the same thing happen and now it's happening to this one. So let's get to it. So the easiest way to do it is you gotta work this panel loose. You can either use a trim tool, zoom out a little bit. You can either use a trim tool. Um, today I'm going to be using the old trusty putty knife and a flathead screwdriver. So, um, pretty simple. Like I said, uh, you don't have to worry about this, all this stuff. This stays in it. Um, and this piece right here, you can actually see I'm already working it loose. Um, but it's actually kind of sharp, so I don't want to keep doing it because I don't feel like cutting myself. And uh, you just kind of work it loose, and there's little clips that hold that on all the way around. You pop that loose, there's a little tab on the back. But uh, anyway, I'll show you guys how it's going. All right, so I got my handy-dandy helper with me. She doesn't want to be on camera because it's in the morning. But uh, anyway, so we're just going to work this loose. The trim tool is a little easier. If you can get one of those, you can pick them up at your auto parts store. But see, it just pops out of there pretty easy. And it's that simple and not difficult at all. So here's the little clips. They're just spring-loaded tabs um, on all the way around this thing. And they're covered in felt. So here is the, safe, or the transfer case selector switch. And then it's got this little tab right here, down to there. You kind of lift it with your fingernail, if you have fingernail. And just kind of lift it loose. Push it up. And there it is. So then we uh, need to get those little bolts off. And I'm not sure what size those are. So if you guys want to give me a second. Okay, so um, the 732 actually fits it fairly well, as does the 5.5 millimeter. Um, I checked them for the slop, and you got to remember, this is going in plastic. We're not putting a ton of torque on this thing, and so you can see there's a little bit of wiggle there. That's the 732, and here is the 5.5 millimeter. Um, little bit of wiggle there. I actually think the 5.5 has a little less. I'm not sure, but they both work. Um, I mean, very, very easy to take these out. Like I said, they're going in plastic, so you don't need to put a ton of torque on them. But anyway, so what we're also going to want to do here is might need to back up a little bit knob should just pop off and then we can take this off so pretty simple to do there it is there pretty simple pretty straightforward not that difficult Pretty easy. Take the new one and put it in there. Whoops. Oh, which way? Okay, so 
So you can see this little clear piece right here, guys. That's for the little light bulb. So I'm just trying to get that to fit in there just right without breaking anything. That would not be okay. Going to get this one started. This one in. Going to get this one started. And if you do, I'm just going to basically use my fingers um, for this. I might add a tiny bit of torque with a ratchet um, because this is plastic. So you got to remember if you torque it, you're either, you're definitely not going to break the bolt, but you can definitely strip out the little plastic threads and then, uh, yeah, and then you're dealing with something else. So just barely, I mean, eighth of a turn. That's all you guys really need. And then I'm going to make sure everything lines up well. There it is. Everything lines up nice and well there. I'm going to reconnect it. Press it all the way down in there. Make sure it's seated. This little plastic tab will sit all the way at the bottom of the back of the switch. And you're good to go. Get that. Make sure you don't have any wires going into the vents. Here, these are your vents. And make sure everything lines back up. I got the wire in the vent. There we go. That's simple. Quick and easy fix, not uh, difficult at all. Very simple, do it yourself. Uh, save you actually quite a bit of money than going to the dealership. Um, my buddy took his dealer to the, wow, I can't even talk right, need more coffee. But he took his to the dealership and I think he said it cost him like 75 bucks. Um, that was maybe, maybe five minutes of work. So um, yeah, very easy, do it yourself. And thanks to my help, no, just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And uh, if you want to check me out, you could also check me out down on Instagram to see some photos uh, just of uh, a lot of cool stuff and parts of my daily life and sunrises, sunsets and hunting and everything else. All right, guys. So thanks for watching and I hope you all have a good day. All right. Catch you later. Till next time. Bye bye.